Welcome to Flavorsville. I'm Jack, and today we're going to be making a killer corn pudding quiche. Now, how did this concept come about? I was looking through some family recipes, and I came across my grandmother's corn pudding recipe. And to this day, I mean, still, people still talk about her corn pudding. So I was looking at the recipe, and I was like, what could we do with this? And I don't know where it came from, but I got the idea of making a corn pudding quiche. So that's what we're going to do. Simple ingredients. We've got salt, garlic powder, pepper, some bacon, eggs, cream corn, cream, which is half, half and half, and half whipping cream. We've got sugar butter, a little bit of flour, half an onion, pie crust. Now you can make your own pie crust if you choose to. That's fine. Homemade pie crusts are awesome. But today there are some really good pie crusts that you can find in the refrigerator section at your grocery store. And that's what I did. So we are going to be using a pre-made pie crust. Okay, I'm going to uh, clean up a little bit and I'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay. I'm back. We're going to start by chopping an onion. So I've got a half of a, you can use white, yellow, I've got a white onion here. Um, you could even use a purple onion if you wanted to. Um, I don't know that the purple color would be that attractive, but I do love the flavor of a purple onion. Um, but I'm going to simply uh, chop this onion. good. When I fried my bacon, I reserved a little bit of the bacon fat, and that's what we're going to cook our onion in. So let's go over to the stove and get started. Okay, we've got our uh, bacon fat heated, so we're just going to add our onion. Uh, we're going to saute this onion to a translucent color. And the onion with that bacon fat, just the aroma that I'm getting right now is unbelievable. Uh, we just want to lightly cook these because it's uh, it's going to spend an hour and 20 minutes in the oven. So we're definitely going to uh, have these onions cooking during that process. Okay, I think we're good. So we're going to move back over to our workstation and start putting this bad boy together. Okay, we've got our sauteed onions. There's still a little bit of bacon fat in there, but that's okay, because that's nothing but flavor. And that's gonna just really bring this dish up and that's just gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna set this aside, and we're gonna start with our egg mixture. First thing we do is we add our dry ingredients. We're gonna add our salt. We're gonna add our pepper. And we're going to add our garlic powder. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of Tabasco. Now this is to taste. I find things a little spicy. You may not. You don't even have to add Tabasco if you don't want to. But I'm going to. So I'm going to do, you know, maybe six shakes, something like that. 
Now we're ready to blend it. Now we want to add some air to this. You can do that with a whisk, perfectly fine. But I love my hand blender. So that's what I'm going to use today. Simple as that. So I'm going to set this aside and we're going to go to our cream mixture. First thing I'm going to do is add my dry ingredients. I'm going to add the flour. Sugar. The cream. we can't forget the butter. Okay, again, you could whisk this. You want to get some air into it, but I'm going to use the hand blender. That's it. You can even see the bubbles in the mixture. So there's a lot of air in there, which is perfect. Now we're going to combine our eggs to the cream mixture. And again, we're just going to lightly blend it. From there, add our corn. The bacon. Love me some bacon. And then our sautéed onion. God, this is going to be so good. So good. Going to give it a mix. God. I can't wait. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's do it this way before I make a mess. All right, we're just going to simply add that to our pie pan. And I like to scrape that goodness in there. And that's it. It's ready for the oven. Now what I've done is I've preheated my oven to 325 and I've put the upper rack in the center position. So we're ready to go to the oven. Oh man, does that look awesome or what? Holy cow. I mean, that is like a custard. That is beautiful. The quiche is out of the oven. It cooked for an hour and 20 minutes at 325 degrees. And I have to say, I, I just, I think it turned out fantastic. This is the first time I have made this recipe. So we are doing this together for the, for the very first time. It, of course, is a recipe that came from my grandmother, was very popular, but I wanted to take it and create a new twist to it. So that's where I came up with the idea of taking her recipe, adding some more ingredients, adding some more seasoning, and turning it into a quiche. 
she always called it a custard, and I have to say, it, it has the consistency of a custard, which I can't wait. I love egg custard, and that's, that's exactly what this is going to be. So let's cut into it and see what we've got. Jiminy criminy. I didn't do a very good job of cutting this. I usually let my wife cut things because she's much more precise than I am. So I've still got some goodie in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay that down as well. Okay. I'm looking at this. And I mean, look at that. It is, it's like an egg custard. You've got the bacon, you've got the corn, you've got the onion that we sauteed in the bacon fat. I mean, I just can't imagine this not just tasting incredible. Oh my goodness. You are absolutely going to love this. It's like nothing I've ever had before. You know, I was, I was thinking of this more as a side, but as any other quiche, it, it could be a main dish as well. Now let's think about this for a second. We simply made this with, you know, we added bacon and onion and added some seasoning, a little bit of Tabasco. But the, I think there's even more you could do to it if you wanted to. You know, make it your own. And like I said, you witnessed me make this for the very first time. I have never made this in my life. I just took an idea and turned it into a recipe. And that's what you can do. Cooking can be fun. Experiment. If it, if it doesn't turn out, so what? You still learned from that experience. You certainly learned what not to do, but you also learned some things along the way that, that may work the next time you try it. So be a little daring. Try some things. Put a new twist on things. I have to say, I'm, I am really excited about this recipe. I hope you like what we prepared today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and also like this video. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'll be posting this recipe to my website, flavorsville.com. I'll be posting a video to YouTube every Tuesday. And until then, get in the kitchen and rock some flavor.